Hi, uh, in another video I have introduced uh, the books, that, the Japanese books that I used to find uh, hiking courses in Japan. I also introduced these, introduced these maps, so called the Yamato Kogen. <coughs> so they are small maps for uh, different parts of Japan. And uh, what is interesting about them is that you can have a print version which cost, as you see here, about 1,000 yen, or a digital version for your um, Android device or um, an iPhone, so which cost about 500 yen. And uh, you can use the GPS of your device to locate you when you are using them outside. And uh, these maps are also available online, so I'm going to show you that. So at the same time, I'm, I'm going to introduce the, the maps that are available online and uh, that I am aware of for Japan, for hiking in Japan. So the first one is uh, Compass. So you can see the, the address here. So if you click uh, somewhere in these areas, you can get uh, some maps. So this is uh, okay, two Alps. For example, Kiso Koma Gatake. Okay, you get the map. So let's get a big big screen. Wait a little and uh, <coughs> okay, let's zoom. Okay, and the red lines are trails. Okay, it seems that they have also names in, in Romaji, so we can read some names here. It doesn't work very well. So. Okay. Okay, and there are some information, just some comments from some people sometimes. You have some pictures sometimes. Okay, this is uh, this this shows actually the, the accidents. <laughs> this is a list of accidents that happen. This is this is a, a hard part. Actually, it's not in red; it is in purple. So this is a dangerous part, and there are some the list of accidents. So, for example, uh, this one was uh, on uh, 2014. It was a woman, 33 year old, eight o'clock, and. Uh, okay. Okay, there are more information, we need to, to click to have more information. Okay, so this is uh, one... Uh, I use it only uh, rarely, actually, just to check these information. I mean, there are some the difficult points here, they, they say why it's difficult. Okay, but other than that, I don't really use this. Uh, they have members, uh, they can record... Uh, you can make your plan also, but I don't use it. <coughs> so there is also, this is a Yamake online, so they also have, also have a big map. So they have detailed the map for these uh, orange uh, areas. Okay, so it doesn't cover everything, but the most common, common things. Okay, so if we focus on uh, mid this should be the South Alps. Yes, yes. Okay. In fact, the Kitadake should not be very far. This is the Kitadake, which is the second highest uh, summit of Japan after Fujisan. Okay. So you have. <coughs> Uh, here it's a little bit better in, in for me because the, than the compass because there is a time written how much time typical time it takes so it's nice. They also say uh, if there is something special like here there is a, uh, some ishi something uh, some, uh, yeah, some kind of rock uh, just <coughs> some rocks on the way. <coughs> Here, same story and same story. So here are some some rocks uh, that may fall. Anyway, 
Okay, so this is useful uh, to know the, the tracks and the time it takes and so, uh, some information. This means there is some water, you can camp, etc. And uh, actually some people, I guess, put... Uh, this is just some uh, not really... Me, the color, Okay, just so some minor information. Or some flowers or something. Okay, so actually I don't use it very much since since I discovered that these maps uh, sorry, these maps are available online. Now this is my preferred my preferred site. So actually, if you look at the, what is written here, I think it's written. Uh, let's see. Okay. Let's make a zoom here, yes. So they say that uh, you can use it with your smartphone and at the end, at the, here actually, you see it's written in Katakana Yama Pula. And uh, Tozan Planning Website Yamapla Search for Yamapla. Okay, so if you search for Yamapla, you will find this. Yama. Leco, in fact, it's this uh, Yamal. It's part of Yamal Eco, which is also a very big uh, site for which has many members and they, they post their uh, hiking experience, hiking uh, plans. So, this is a translation automatic by Google in English, but uh, many things remain in Japanese. And, uh, okay, you can use it in Japanese also, it's easy. So, you, you uh, look here, you have you recognize actually the same uh, drawing that you have in this uh, in this in this uh, maps. So this so it is the same here. So you can just click on that. Yes. Okay. So if you want to use that these maps, you click on it. Okay. And here it is. So you have again more choices. So here it is in Japanese. It is now working to translate it. Yes. Okay. So you can select the map and browse, I guess. Uh, um, me, I use it for. Uh, okay. I just start it like this. So you will have your map coming. So it's of course uh, Fujisan that is the center of attention. But uh, okay, so you can zoom, and these these are the, the real maps, the same as in the, in the print or digital. Uh, the only difference is that these maps online do not show all the informations that you have uh, in print and uh, in the digital. So they will not say, uh, for example, which buses, how to get to this point or to this point. Uh, they don't write <coughs> the time or so uh, on this on this site. So there are different points here, and uh, there are some uh, the, al the altitude and also uh, the name. Okay, so I will show how I, I use this thing. So I'm not interested in Fujisan. What could we do? So first, I will show you. So you really have the same maps here. You can see the, the boundaries. Okay. So if you remember when in my other video I showed you uh, the Fuji, the, that one is the one on Hakone. This is Hakone, Izu Peninsula. Okay. So if we want to also look at the same uh, at uh, Kitanake, Kitanake should be around here. Yeah, it should be there. Is it? Yes, Kita Daki. Okay. Uh, here you have some indication for the difficulty, but it's it's really for the most difficult that they show. So you just say okay. And. Uh, Okay, so here nothing is um, nothing particular. So the dashed lines are uh, not so uh, documented. Uh, they are uh, okay. If you are not an expert, you should avoid. So 
So let's see this uh, is difficult uh, are usually in the Alps. So let's let's visit. Ah, there are some here. Okay, so here you see there are some dangerous, some. Uh, okay, the green are very easy, then the blue a little bit more difficult, then the yellow, the red, no red here. Okay, the red uh, start to be dangerous, I guess, and the, the black are uh, <coughs> it's just climbing, I guess, alpinism, etc. Okay, so if you want to see until yellow, it's not that difficult, I think. Red and black is a uh, uh, it's very really for experts. So I guess around Kamikochi there are such uh, yellow and red, black. Let's find Kamikochi. That's not okay. Kamikochi should be around here. Okay, I see a rope. Why this is Kamikochi? Okay, so indeed you have the. Uh, it's written in Hiragana also, Oku, O, Taka, Dake. So you have the Mae, the Oku, the Kita, and Kita, etc. So indeed, here you have the, the red are very difficult. The yellow, yellow are not easy also, and there must be some black here. Yes, this part is black. So this is a so called Daikilet. It's probably the most. Uh, uh, daring place in Japan, I guess. At least it's famous for this area. Okay, so how do I use uh, this? Uh, okay, let's take an example. Uh, let's say we want to climb Yakedake. Yakedake is blue. Okay, okay so uh, let's say you are in Kamikochi, somewhere at the bus terminal here, so you click that thing. Okay, start all. Okay. So this now is, uh, is uh, I guess, it, did it show up? Is it okay? No, I will check another point. Very small pointer so that may be confusing. Okay, so this one is selected as the start point. And uh, okay, I go straight to Yakedake there. So you see it proposes a uh, this, uh, this way, which is the only way, and it has uh, different waypoints. So, this one, this one, so uh, you can see them here. Uh, okay, and it's it shows the time it takes for each, uh, each uh, piece. You can st say at what time you start. Okay, let's see something to change. This is the way uh, your goal time. Okay, let's say you want to go down, go down uh, here. Okay, and then here, and then whatever. Okay, you finish like that. So if you start at seven o'clock in the morning, you may finish at uh, at two o'clock and ten minutes, and it may take seven hours. Okay, that's it. So this is your road. So you can save that. This means save. So if you push that, you can save a print version, so you can put a name, whatever you want. Konoruto in Satsusuru, so this is for printing. You click that, and you can then choose a few things here, so it's working. You can choose, uh, so this is, uh, uh, okay, this portrait, and you can use landscape. 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 Okay. You can also uh, re-center re as you wish and uh, also okay. If you want everything included like this, you can zoom. You have down here. You have uh, from your start to your goal and the time it takes in between. Okay, then you use these are not so useful things. Okay, and then you can just print. So 
uh, you can print as a pdf or a hard print whatever whatever okay so now you can uh, so you can go back or you can build a, a, a record you have to be a member to use that so it will be saved as your in your as a list in your in your page and uh, you can also so let's see if it's okay you really want to continue yeah. uh, you can make a gpx file for your gps uh, device so you just use this you just click here and it will make a gpx file okay that's it edit the hiking plan not sure i forgot what it is it does so you can write yourself if you're interested uh, to you can determine information and leave a record of what you did etc okay so that's all uh, that's how i use this so it's very convenient because uh, you have access to all these uh, these maps online of course without all the information but the maps are already very useful and you can make uh, your plan and uh, gpx okay i think i hope it will be helpful uh, thank you for your attention bye